my channel and as you can see by the title of today's video I will be telling you guys how to get on hormones this is for all of my trans sisters and brothers and, and also you guys this is for all my other people out there who are not transgender um, this will give you insight on what we have to go through and all the steps that are, that are necessary to get to the hormones and stuff like that and a little disclaimer I am not on hormones right now um, I should be on hormones next month I have an appointment on April 16th I was supposed to have been on hormones but something happened with my insurance and stuff like that and I didn't have a letter and blah 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 but before we get into this video I want you to like comment and subscribe and follow me on all my social media girl and I will be giving y'all like the full rundown and stuff like that so let's get into the video you guys all right you guys so the first thing I want to talk about is is this the right path for you or are you even transgender I'm going to give you guys a little backstory on me with me growing up. When I was growing up, I possessed all of the traits of a transgender woman and stuff like that. I would do everything like a girl. I would try to mimic a girl. I just knew I was a girl when I was growing up. And my parents, they probably didn't know what it was. I didn't even know what I was, but I knew I was a girl and I would do stuff to look like a girl, put on my clothes and, you know, just try to, you know, feel like a woman. And even to this day, some people have told me what I was like when I was growing up and these all came to being transgender and I had gender dysphoria at a young age and I didn't realize what that was until 2017. I dive deep to find out who I really was. I always been telling people in school, oh, if I was a girl, I would do this. If I was a girl, I would do that. I want to be a girl so bad, you know, I'll just be acting like a girl all the time. I looked up what being transgender was. At first, when I heard about being transgender a long time ago, I really thought that transgender was people who was born with both parts and I didn't know that you could actually change your own gender so when I found out about transitioning I was like yes this is something I want to do I looked up everything but the only thing that did scare me was the prices I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna have enough money to do this so I kind of put it to the burner but I was experiencing gender dysphoria which is the feeling of you feeling like you're in the wrong body you're the wrong sex and I've been feeling like that for my entirely my whole life like so when I get on my hormones, I know I'm not going to want to change my mind. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go all the way through with this thing. If you are not willing to go all the way, well, everybody don't have to go all the way through. But if you know you're not going to be able to handle all the stuff that comes with being on hormones and this isn't something you want to do, don't go down this path. But if you were experiencing the things that I experienced and the things that I felt and I still, they get stronger. They've been stronger like as of recently. As since I start to play in makeup and dress and um dress up as as who I present myself to be, they've been more stronger and stuff like that to the point where I'm getting depressed and it's just like a messes. But if you're not experiencing stuff like this, then being transgender isn't for you. So now we're gonna get into after you done already went through that, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the second step. So um after I had explored what being transgender was, I went like to a year without, you know, putting it, I put it to the side for like a year or two because I was in college and I really didn't have the time or resources to go see somebody to get started on hormones. So I just put it on the back burner. But like in 2018, I was, I sent out letters to, um, first of all, what I did, I went on the internet and I looked up um transgender therapists and I sent out emails to them every single one of them that I thought um dealt with us um so I, I will go ahead and assert um an email of what I sent to them I don't exactly remember what I sent to them but I will have it on the screen right here you guys and I sent them a message basically telling them that you know I was tired of living a lie I'm trying I'm ready to live my truth and stuff like that because like to this day I'm ready to live my truth just because my parents don't accept it and their religion and stuff like that I'm just ready to go ahead and you know live my life or whatever so I went ahead and sent them messages and some people say that they was full they wasn't accepting no more patience and stuff like that but this one man did go ahead and write me back and this man identified as trans so I ended up going to him it was like $40 he charged um a little bit more for regular person patients but for transgender people he charged $40 per session so with that being said you want to go ahead and find um 
a gender therapist specifically that deals with um, gender dysphoria and stuff like that. That's what I went and did. I went on this one website in Delaware. And if you're from Delaware and you want to know who I went to, um, I can go ahead and give you his name and his affirmations and stuff like that. So you guys can go ahead and go over to him. But if you're in another state, just go ahead and look up gender transgender therapists and it will pop up everybody they will even give you sites on people who deal with gender dysphoria and transgender issues and stuff like that now what you want to avoid is somebody that's like really christian and that's going to try to talk you out of it with me i got lucky my like i said mine's identified as a trans male so he understand where i was coming from and i got my letter and stuff like that quickly but i'm getting to that later but like i was saying you want to go ahead and look up look up for that and then when you find them you can go ahead and email them or call them whatever they have on the website that you can contact them you want to go ahead and do that and then after that you can go ahead and schedule your appointment and stuff like that and then you will have like your first appointment with them. It's not, it don't take that long to get a therapist. Um, like it does like for hormones and stuff. But yes. That's after that you will go ahead and see your therapist. And what to expect at the therapist appointment. They're going to ask you, um, what do you identify as? And, um, why do you feel this way? Just tell them the honest truth. Don't try to make up a lie or anything so that you can get your letter faster. Because it's, um, it may work in some cases, but I just suggest you be honest. But at the end of the day, it is the therapist's decision whether um, being transgender and starting tra transitioning medically is something it's for you or not for you. For me, he what I said to him, it was like, okay, we see that she's serious. She's been hiding who she was for a long time due to family. We're going to go ahead and, you know, write her this letter and get her to an endocrinologist. So after you pass that stage, now. And also, you guys, I forgot to mention that you don't need to see a therapist to start hormones. You can go to Planned Parenthood and they will start you on HRT and they do not require a letter. But make sure the Planned Parenthood in your area does transgender hormone therapy first. I would suggest calling. That's what I did when I was trying to go through Planned Parenthood. And be mindful, it is expensive because they don't really accept insurance, you guys. If you don't pass that stage, you're going to have to do more, session, more sessions until they believe that this is the right path for you to take. So after that, they will go ahead and write you a letter so that you can see a doctor and endocrinologist so they can go ahead and give you the hormones. Now with me, it only took two visits. On the first video visit, we talked about those questions that I talked about earlier. And on the second visit... um. I got my letter well let's be clear I didn't the second time I went back um my my therapist was going out of country so he she he was like I want to go ahead and get you your hormone letter and get you started on this so that way when I get back you can already have the letter you can have already been called you know the doctor because every time you go to a therapist that deals with transgender people they're going to refer you to a doctor that they refer all their other clients and patients to. Um, so after that yes he gave me my letter and stuff like that and then he suggests that I go see this certain endocrinologist and like I said I see them next month I was supposed to see them in January but I was using my dad's insurance but now I have my own insurance and my dad's insurance required that I have a letter so that's why I'm not on hormones right now if I did have that stuff um, but they called me like like weeks before my appointment let me know that oh your insurance requires that you have a letter but whatever um not a letter but you have to have a referral from a doctor from your primary doctor to go see them so um yes i'm gonna have all of that ready this month so i can go to see them next month and after all them all that stuff that i talked about earlier you will be set to get on hormones now i'm going to be honest about the wait times to go see these doctors for your hormones now some of y'all may be lucky your primary doctor may offer transgender services or hormones um i would ask your primary doctor to see if they do that and offer hormones at where you go or you're going to have to wait probably about a couple three to four months um depending on where you live at in delaware you're probably definitely going to have to wait three to four months it was four months for me like ugh. Girl, like, ugh. 
but like if you live in Las Vegas on the West Coast in LA, you can um make an appointment, go on ZocDoc and type well no. If you live in New York, I'm gonna tell you an app that you can go ahead and do it quicker and get a like a transgender hormone therapy appointment quicker. You can go on ZocDoc Zoc doc.com and they have an app as well I will go ahead and show you what I'm talking about and for the state for New York you're going to type in transgender hormone therapy and they're going to pop up a list of doctors and the availability that they have you can be seen within the same month or the next week now in other states you will have to wait like three to four months but it depends on where you live the process can be slower for you like in Delaware and the surrounding area, just Delaware, because even Maryland, you can get an appointment on that app and be seen like within the same month to start your hormones and get everything like that. So Delaware is just this slow girl. But like I said, for some people, it may be faster and slower. And then also, before you want to start your hormones and go through that appointment, I would suggest getting a physical like a month before just to make sure everything is okay. Like say if you had high cholesterol. Um, if your cholesterol, if any of your blood levels are too high, they're going to make you wait to get your hormones so they can bring those levels down. With me, I started eating healthy and stuff like that. So all my levels are going to be normal when I go ahead and get my, or see my doctor this month, um, to get my physical done. And then I already know on the, um, 16th of April, all my levels are going to be good. So I'm going to be good to start my hormones. And I probably will be starting my hormones like... In the middle of April or the end, but say if I have high cholesterol or something, I probably won't be starting till early um, May. So let's let's hope everything is all my levels are good, so I can start my hormones in the middle of April and not wait another you know not wait until May. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also before I end this video, surgeries and stuff like that, you have to be on hormones for a year to start getting shots and surgeries and stuff like that. So everybody that's talking about Zaya and stuff like that, girl, it's not even that. She has to go through everything that I just told you before she can get to the hormones. And a surgery is the last thing that I will be completing to complete my transition but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was on all over the place I want you to go ahead and like comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching bye babies